Hey folks, how you guys doing? How's everybody doing? Um, I just hope you guys had a wonderful week. Um, I hope that our, our videos been empowering your heart and motivating you guys to follow Jesus Christ. And also to have an empowered life with harmony and hope and a satisfying living life. And today I just feel, felt with my heart that I wanted to speak to you guys about the passion of Jesus Christ. The passion that he had for us, for each individual of us. And also as well, what passion means to me. And what passion should mean to others like you. And first of all, today I, I just want to start with what passion really means. And so I went into a dictionary and I searched up passion. And passion is described as any powerful or compelling emotion or feeling as love, as love. And so I just want to, you know, amplify, emphasize it and talk to you guys about how passion is really love. It talks about having a compelling feeling towards something. And that's Jesus to us. Jesus was so passionate about us that he was crucified on that cross. That he didn't care what it took. But his goal was to save us from the condemnation. And so Jesus was so passionate for us that he had a plan and he said, I'm going to crucify, I'll be crucified to save others, to save my children. And so he was taken to this cross and was crucified. But what really, really gets me to think and really, you know, understand the passion of Jesus was that he already knew that it was going to happen to him. He already knew that he was going to go to that cross. That they were going to take him there. That they were going to put nails to him. And yet, he did not say, that's it. He did not say halfway, this is it. I can't do it anymore. But he would pray to his father and he would ask his father to strengthen him. To help him. And so, that's why I just wanted to speak to you guys about it because I wanted to tell you my feeling about passion. My feeling towards passion is to, to be like Jesus, to wanting to be like Him, to following His ways. Because what God does in your life, it's amazing. He changes you. He changes the ways that you used to you used to have or whatever. Um, uh, uh, for example, in my life, liquor was a big part of my life, and God took that away from me. So I was no longer, I no longer participate in that area. I no longer have to. As in before, I had to do it. I wanted to stop, but I couldn't stop. Until I came to Jesus, and Jesus found me at first, of course. But I came to Jesus, and I told him, Jesus, change me. Take this liquor away from me, because it's just harming me. I don't do it for the fun of it anymore. I just do it because I have to. So I became a slave to it. And so in other ways, people live under different circumstances, different, uh, different scenarios, but in the same aspect. And so today I want to give you hope that Jesus can do the same to you, that he can take whatever simple things you have that you no longer want to be part of, but you can't leave because you feel like it's so stuck in you. And that's why Jesus, Jesus himself, he would change that. If you proclaim and you ask in the name of Jesus. And I just feel within my heart too that 
you know, who, if whoever calls you, you know, you're crazy about Jesus, if you're too, you know, too much into the Bible, or you speak too much about Jesus, let me tell you this. Was Jesus not passionate for us? Was Jesus not 100% about what he wanted to do for us? Wasn't his mindset on us? So why should I say I'm going to be half in and half out? Why am I going to say I'm going to worship God, you know, not crazily? If he was crazy for us. So now if we want to be like Jesus, how can we be like Jesus when we are only giving 50% of our heart? And if people say you're too crazy about Jesus, yes I am. Because Jesus was crazy about me. And he rescued me, he saved me, he changed me forever. And I pray that he may do the same to you if you call on his name. Which of course he will. Because he is Jesus, he is love, and he is passionate for you. I really hope this empowers your heart to try and follow Jesus. Because Jesus overall, he's amazing, he's glorious, and he has ever changed me forever and ever. Thank you guys for your time, for watching this video, and I hope this motivates you to keep living life, to keep, keep living day by day and not thinking that every day is just there as a, as a burden or it's just there as a struggle, but to think that every day is glorious and that every day you'll do your best to reach to others and to help others, to motivate others. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for listening to me. God bless.